Hello Divine Ones, thank you for being with us. We are quite excited about this conversation today, for the time has come to have a very direct conversation in a way that we have not yet had with you. Recently we have offered specific suggestions for working with your mind and your habits of thought and patterns of being, so that you might open up more capacity to think freely, to feel more open to think freely, and therefore to have different experiences from within your humanity. This kind of movement is an essential part of your evolution because you, in your humanness, are the key to the ascension of your life. What we mean by this is your soul is not within you to take over and do it all. Your soul is within you, offering you energetic nourishment, pure, clear consciousness, so that you might use this energetic stream of all that you are to remember and to tune yourself into alignment with your essence and use that alignment to create your life with that joyous flow. The point here is not to become your soul in a way that eclipses your human life. The point here, is to learn to feel your soul presence within you and to recognize it as a pure clear energy that is you, that gives life to you, that is your essence, and to use that energy to guide and steer yourself. To use that energy to know yourself. To use that energy to support and energize your life, and to know that it is the source of your being and your connection with all that is. As an embodied aspect of your soul, you are ever-expanding awareness. You provide the soul a vehicle to have different experiences, and you enrich the fullness of your being. The vehicle of your life is an amazing experience of expansion for your soul. This is true, really from the very beginning, without you doing anything. Just having the ability to be here, in a body, and perceive and experience this amazing this planetary field, and your amazing intelligent body, is beneficial and expanding to your soul. Your body, like you, is fueled by the essence of your being. Your body and you are innately aligned in intention and aspiration. You as consciousness experience the world, and its richness and all it presents gives you ideas. You see what you like. You discover from a very early age, that you have your own preferences. This occurs naturally as you in your uniqueness live and encounter life. As you encounter life, you discover what you like, what you don't, and as you grow and develop, you make adjustments based on what you like, and what you don't, and what you think will get you more of what you like. Sometimes these adjustments are based on separation. Sometimes these adjustments are coming from within. They are wise and insightful. When they are based on separation, or they're fear-based, they typically involve shutting yourself down in some way. Any kind of adjustment that shuts you down in some way creates problems later. In our many conversations with you we offer many ideas for working with these kind of congested energies and patterns so that you might clear them. These more limiting ideas were beneficial to you in the moment in which you chose them, but to perpetuate them is never beneficial. It's only beneficial to be present in the moment and choose from the present. From a more elevated vibration in the present, because you're ascending it's much easier to choose more empowering ways of relating and being and participating. Learning to clear the congested energies is beneficial. Your life is a means of experience, and it's always changing. You are always changing, and your experience of life is always changing. What you are translating as experience is always changing because your vibration is dynamic. What you translate and perceive as experience is based on your vibrational state. What you translate and perceive as experience is always changing because your vibration is dynamic. You are translating life based on your dynamic frequency state, and so what you translate and interpret in one moment may come from an elevated clear energy state, and in another moment may come from a distorted fear-based energy state. You experience the full spectrum of all of this. Now, our message for today. There is no need to get this to always be some perfect way in order to have a wonderful life. Do you know this? Do you really know this? Do you realize that you can feel free and happy and enjoy all the different dynamics of your life by simply seeing the big picture of the game, and knowing your soul here for the experience of it all? Some of it will delight you. Some of it you will wish you had not tasted. If you want to be happy, if you want to be free, choose to be happy and choose to be free. Choose to think and notice in ways that give you the feeling of being happy and free. You may say, Oh, Archangel Michael, 
I don't know how to do this, but you can choose these qualities as important to you, and begin to discover how to feel them more often. You can make these feeling states your priority. If you want to be free, and you want to be happy, then choose those feelings. Choose to think about life in ways that make you feel free and happy, and give up logic and conditioning, and the rules, and expectations that you've learned before that are in any way contrary with this. Just let them go. Feeling states are a manifestation of thought forms. Learning what perspectives and ideas make you feel free and happy, and giving yourself permission to think them is how you experience being happy and free. It's really that simple. None of the circumstances or situations in your life have the ability to make you feel less happy or less free unless you invest in them and give them that power. Unless you decide that they circumstances or situations are what makes you feel happy and free. You may wish to change circumstance and situations, but regardless, they will have no ability to change how you feel unless you invest in them, and decide that your happiness and freedom comes from them. Yes, it's nice to feel free, and yes, it's nice to have money, or a wide open afternoon where you can do whatever you want, but you can feel free without having money, and you can feel free without having a wide open afternoon. You can decide you want to create more money and you can decide you want to create more free time, and all the time that you're choosing and learning how to create more money and create more free time, you can still feel happy and free long before you've discovered how to create more money or how to create a wide open afternoon every other day. You are always free to think what you want, and you can realize that all the things that feel limiting to you, and that feel like they're pinning you down and holding you back are just circumstances or situations that you have invested in as having the power to make you happy. Now, we want to say something that's really important, so please take it in. Discovering you are a soul living in a human form does not make life perfect. It does not give you the experience of never feeling challenged, or never feeling that life goes up and down. You are not here to have an arrival into some blissful state of being and never feel anything else. Please, if you want to start to live fully and freely, give up this idea of a destination, of an arrival. This idea of an arrival in which your human life no longer has all this variation, there is only one way to arrive that way. It's death. It's not life. If you want to have a sense of arrival in your human life, then die. If you want to have a sense of adventure, then live, and if you intend to live, which we sense all of you do, then expect variation. Expect that you can always choose to think differently, and look at life in ways that feel good to you. As you all know, it's always possible to find something to smile about. It's always possible to find the silver lining in any moment. It's always possible to find a way to make things different in your experience. Making things different is not the same as having a specific feeling. We want you to start disentangling this idea that circumstances and situations create the way you feel. They don't have to, although they might have for a long time, because you gave that power away. You are free to feel the way you want right now, and then to create the life you want from that state of being. Imagine how much fun it might be to go about learning and facing the challenges of life, feeling the way you want. Feeling the way you want now, not waiting for some moment, not denying yourself the joy of that feeling until you've accomplished some certain thing, but instead choosing to feel that way now and enjoying that feeling state as you go about the experience of creating your life. We'd like you to think about this today. We'd like you to think about how you might further untangle the way you want to feel from the things you'd like to create. Not only is it beneficial for manifesting to feel better, but it's just self-loving. If you want to feel in particular ways, make those feeling states a priority, and use those elevated feeling states, because we assume most of you would choose elevated feeling states, use the experience of those elevated feeling states to create a happy life. From that happy life learn and develop in the ways that interest you, but start to disentangle the idea that circumstances and situations create your sense of freedom and happiness, and take back that power, and be the sovereign beings you intended to be. I am Archangel Michael.